What's up guys, this is your boy Dr. ZZ and you guys have seen the title already, that's probably why you guys are here. I'm going to give you some real advice and if you guys are in high school right now and you're planning to pursue medicine for your future, you guys have to definitely listen up real close. I'm going to skip all the boring parts about you know how you should study well in your high school and get good grades to get into a good medical school, that is standard. But I'm going to talk to you about some realities of what happens when you choose this part. Now, who am I to talk about it? I've already completed my medical school and I'm right now doing my board exams and going to be an intern really soon and then continue in the field of medicine. The thing that I need to tell most of your high school kids is it is great to be a doctor. Yes, prestige, money, whatever it is. But you need to understand what it takes. The first thing you need to understand is that the time. You are going to be late in life. What I mean by that is Medicine is a really long career. I mean, it's really long. Medical school, if you're going to somewhere non-US, then it takes six years just to become an MBBS. And then you will do your internship, then, you're, then you'll probably do your postgraduate exams. And after you become a postgraduate, you'll probably specialize in certain field. So you're gonna specialize for another three or four years. You have to always be doing exams. Even in the States, it takes eight years to become a doctor. Four years of pre-med, and four years of math. So now I want you to think about one of your close friend who is not doing medicine. He will have a quick start in life. What, he, what I mean by that is he will probably go to a college if he does or not. He probably might start a business straight away. He will probably if he does go to a non-medical school such as business which takes two to three years. He finishes that. He gets into a job and by the time in the next three, four years, he's already started making money. He's probably even taking trips with his girlfriend right now and enjoying life. You, on the other hand, will still be finishing medical school. So that itself, when you think about it, will tell you that you, know, you will be late in everything that you do. And you just have to accept it. That is part of it. That, that is one real reality of becoming a doctor. Right now, you are young, so you might think, oh, I don't mind staying a little bit late. I don't mind, but I'm telling you. The thing is, most of our friends who didn't do medicine, they would have already started getting a salary and doing things in life. Whereas you're going through medical school and you don't even know what a salary is. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is money. Now this is a very important topic. Everybody knows if you are going into the field of medicine, given the fact it's a long career, it does take money to be a doctor. Now it's great. If you're an amazingly good student and you've got scholarship, great. You have cut down on one of the biggest costs of your life. But if not, if you're like most of us, you probably have to either take loans that you're going to be paying afterwards for a long time, or you're going to get support from your parents. If your parents are planning to support you through medical school, then you have to be taking money from them for a long time. And it does not feel really good given the fact that you're 25, 26 years old and you're still taking money from your parents because you're still in medical school. Also talking a little bit more about the money, all these loans that you take to pay up for medical school, you will have to pay up. Now, of course, if you're in the US, as far as I know, US pays their doctors pretty well. So people tend to pay up the loans really quick. But if you're from, not from US, if you're from a country which does not give a high pay to doctors, such as Russia, a lot of Asian countries do not have very high pays for interns, you will start slowly. Your salary will be less, and for you to pay up those loans will take time. So you will start late, you will start slow, and then work up the ladder. The next thing I wanna talk about is exams. In medical school, there is always one exam after another. First, you have to do your board exams to become a doctor. Once you become a doctor, you, then you do postgraduate exams to become a specialist. When you specialize, you will do another exams. So you will be studying pretty much for the rest of your life. That is a fact. All those exams I spoke about when you're specializing, those will cost money. So every time you want to specialize in something, you have to pay for an exam and get that exam done and get yourself board certified. Yes, the cost is there, but the reward is as well. The more you specialize, the bigger of a doctor you become, the higher your pay scales are. When you take all of these into consideration, I think it's pretty clear that you should not join this field if you're thinking about the money, about the prestige, about how cool it is to be a doctor, because it takes a lot. But my point with this video was not to scare any of you guys. I think medical is an amazing profession but you have to do it 
because you have to love it. You have to do it because you feel that there's nothing else in this world that you see yourself doing. Now, I know it might be too much to take in and visualize when you're in high school, but just think about yourself. In school, when you study subjects, especially about the human body, are you curious to learn more and more about it? Are you curious to see what the human body is made of, how beautiful it is, and how things work? If that is the case, then I think that's a sign that you are interested in the subject, and possibly you should take medicine as a career. In the end, I would say medicine is an amazing profession. You get to impact people's lives like no other profession can. You have to think about, about yourself as a warrior. You go through such sacrifices because no one else will do that. You, my friend, are a doctor and you, my friend, are going to be saving lives. That's something that you need to be understand. And there's nothing else in the world that can replace that feeling. I hope you got the gist of my video. I didn't mean to scare any of you guys who are planning to do medicine. I just meant to reveal the reality, the things that you're going to be facing in the future. And if you already are mentally prepared for it, the better it is for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave comments in the comment section below and tell me what is the thing that makes you feel that you should become a doctor. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.